Hey, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's Homeschool YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 13, 9, and 7. So um, I have gotten several boxes of goodies from the Critical Thinking Company and the most recent one this summer was Mathematical Reasoning. It was a box full of levels. Um, so I have one video that I wanted to do of like the lower levels, the elementary levels, and then I will do another video of the older levels for like middle school and high school. I am just going to show you the books quickly and then I'm going to do like a little bit of a flip through of all of these levels um, with a like a camera going down on the books so that you can see them. It's they're pretty hefty. You can find them on the Critical Thinking Company website. I will link it down below. Um, but they are under, um, I think, like $42.99 or less. They do have lower levels that start even before this level B that I have. Um, they have like a beginning math one and two. And we actually had used those previously and I remembered my daughters really liked those. So um, when they offered to send me a bunch of mathematical reasonings, I was like, yes, because I was actually already considering using these as kind of like a, an extra a supplement, more of like an independent practice for my two younger ones, especially because um, they are using Apology of Math and like totally fine with it. But a lot of times they're supposed to do like extra work to like extra skills. And sometimes it's really hard for me to remember to like print something off or have that ready to practice. And so I think this is like helping me <laughs> um, have those things for practicing. So um, the Critical Thinking Company with Mathematical Reasoning, they add in logic throughout this. This could be a complete curriculum or you can use it as a supplement like what we're doing. Um, like I said, it's so hefty. They do have answers in the back and like for this level B, let's see, they have 315 pages worth of work to do. So um, it does have a little bit of instructions and teaching, but not tons. But I will do a flip through. So I have level B. This is for grade one. It does have the grade on these. So grade one, level B, and then level c is grade two level d is grade three and then level four is grade e or level e is grade four um so i will do some flip through show you the table of contents of each of these i actually have my fourth grader working through level or level d the levels kind of confuse me sometimes um and so i have my fourth grader working through level d and my first grader is actually, she's kind of like halfway through her first grade math. So I'm actually having her do level B and work through this. Um, I figured, I looked through it and I was like, I think she can do this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you a little more inside. Okay, so this is level B grade one. And um, the table of contents actually has the standards here. Um, so you're doing skills and it shows you what page you are doing. So there's numbers and operation, algebra, geometry, measurement, and data and data analysis and probability. But the skills, you have action, addition, bar graph, calendar, capacity, count, fractions, language, length, likelihood, manipulative, match, money, number line, odd, even, order, pattern, probability, real wor world, problem, shapes, subtraction, symmetry, temperature, time, weight, and whole numbers. So um, those are the skills that they learn. In this, they do have all of these page numbers where if you had a specific skill that you wanted to th them to work on, you could go to those pages and have them do those specific pages. You don't have to do this book all the way through front to back. Um, so here is like a money page and it does give you a little bit of um, like a penny is worth one cent, a nickel is worth five cents, and a dime is worth 10 cents. And then they do addition there. Um, so we've got some number lines and 
The numeral 11 is between 10 and 12. And so it's going through some of these numbers and you're like writing the number that's in between. Here is some fraction work. We've got shapes here. You've definitely got like full color pages. Like look at these fun little pictures here. So it's doing the ordinal numbers there, like the first, second, third. You got bar graphs here, some um, like largest and smallest pictures. There's dot to dot, there's more addition. Like my first grader is gonna have no problem doing any of this really. <laughs> like in her um, apology and math, she's already learning double digit addition. So like this is pretty, I think this will be pretty easy, but it's also gonna help fill in the gaps if there's any gaps in math like she will be doing this as well. So I don't feel quite as bad. Like, you know, sometimes like if you've jumped around or even like, even any curriculum, you feel like there might be some gaps. So like, I feel like doing this as more of an independent practice, the, this will help fill in any gaps. So um, here's temperature, the thermometer, reading a thermometer. This is double digit addition. Um, so there's some double digit subtraction. There's some different like following directions. This is geometry and what you need to do there. So that is a look. So there was this, oh, they do have mind benders some throughout this. And actually this was the first exposure that my youngest had to mind benders. And she was so excited. She's like, do I have more mind benders? Like things like that. And I actually did receive a mind bender book. And, um, and so I gave that to her too. And she was like so excited to start doing these as well. Um, one of these pages I did see, yeah, here's some clockwork as well. So, um, that is it. And like I said, the answers are in the back. So that is level B for first grade. I have level C and this is for grade two. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to this. This has a little bit more for standards. So it still has these across here. We have action, addition, age, analyze data, bar graph, calendar, capacity, circle graph, coins, congruence, coordinates, count, denominator, division, estimate, expanded notation, and place value. And then we have fractions, hundreds, inequalities, language, length, likelihood, line graph, manipulative, match, money, more than two add-ins, multiplication, number line, odd, even, ones, order, order of operation, pattern, place value, expanded notation, polygon, probability, real world problems, regrouping, borrowing, and carrying, rounding, ruler, shape, subtraction, survey, symmetry, table, tens, thermometer, time, variable, weight, whole numbers. So grade two definitely has a lot more in it. Um, you're going over a lot more skills. So same thing, you're kind of like going through this. It does have, you know, same dot to dot type things. Some double digit adding here. I'm just gonna flip through a few pages just to show you this. So there's more, like definitely more like word problems in this one. Here's some more geometry. And it tells you up here, the number of like number and operations, kind of like what you're actually doing, like the skill and stuff. Some more adding, here's like patterns. Definitely still colorful, has fun pictures in it. Um, here's a multiplication table. So they're starting multiplication in grade two. This has, so this is like, you know, a little bit of like what these mean um, so they can figure that out there. So it does have a little bit of instruction, but not tons. They do have in the back here some bonus activities. I don't know how many pages, just a couple pages. Um, so there's math analogies and balance benders here. There's complete the math picture and there's mind bender. Let's see. And then you got some definitions in the back as you get into that. And then the answer key back here, and which is still in full color. It's not in black and white, so that's fun. All right, so now we have level D. This is grade three. My third grade or fourth grader has already started this. There's some like indentations and different things on here. So um, 
excuse the some of the pencil work here. So for grade three, level D, um, we have adding whole numbers, analyze angle, area, bar graph, calendar, capacity, congruence, coordinate system, count, data collection, decimals, dividing whole numbers, equations, equivalence, estimation, expanded notation, fractions, graph, inequalities, length, likelihood, prediction, line graph, money, multiplying whole numbers, order, parallel patterns, perimeter, perpendicular, place value, polygon, properties, rounding, rotation, translation, reflection, shapes, subtracting, subtracting whole numbers, survey, symmetry, table, temperature, time, variable, vocabulary, weight, word form, and word problems. So I'm gonna skip through a few of the pages that she's already been doing. Um, and so what I plan to do, she's already been doing this. I want this to be more independent practice for her. She is in grade four with Apologia. And so um, most of those skills that they have us working on, I'm gonna just find pages in here for her to work on, but then also add in some of these extras to, like I said, fill in the gaps if there's any gaps in between. She's done a few different math programs, so she might have some gaps here and there. So um, here's like, you know, still a dot to dot. Um, this is multiplication, how to do that. There's measurement in here, different lines, horizontal, and there's like, so right in here, there's kind of their lesson. There's a little bit more of a lesson over here. You've got some word problems, the greater than, less than there. Got some place value here. Here's multiplication. You're starting with double digit multiplication, multiplying by one digit. Um, here's money work. There's line of symmetry. I love that it's like all different. You're not doing the same thing over and over constantly. Um, so it makes it a little more fun, I believe. Here is a page, I don't know how, what it has you doing. Oh, cut out the 10 squares on the previous page and place them in a bag, draw out one at a time and record the color and then put the square back in the bag. So you're kind of like drawing out those. I think she'll like that page. <laughs> she likes those type of things. Um, here's like grid work, ruler work. And this is talking about cups and gallons and all that. And we have fractions and di division, money, just kind of going through it a little bit. And then in the back, there are some like Smarty Pants puzzles. And then we've got answers still back here. Still some color, not quite as much color, but still some. Okay, so then this is level E book. This is grade four. Um, and then I will go through <laughs> all the skills in here. Um, so we have analyze angle, area, calendar, capacity, characteristics, congruence, coordinate system, count, data analysis, data collection, decimals, draw, equations and expressions. Um, we've got equivalence, estimation, factors, fractions, graph, table, chart, inequalities, length, likelihood, prediction, mean, median, mode, money, multiple, negative numbers, order, order of operations, pattern, perimeter, place value, polygon, prime, composite, properties, reflection, transi translation, rotation, rounding, shapes, symmetry, temperature, time, variable as unknown, weight, whole numbers, and word problems. So definitely a lot more in this book. Just kind of flip through some of the pages here. They are definitely getting into, you know, getting closer to middle school with some of these and like, you know, estimate, and then here's like an array. Here's some fact family work. We got grids and got some algebra solving the variables. Like that's awesome to have some of that in here. We have congruent, line of symmetry, still definitely more work than like the lower levels, but um, still fun like with the um, pictures and puzzles. And, you know, there's still logic throughout this. This is write an equivalent fraction by multiplying. So it has like what you're trying to do, the instructions and like some, some sort of lesson. Here's fact families, 
There's like Prime over here. Here's um, subtracting, we got multiplying, dividing. We've got area, so we're going through area there. Here's some measurement and geometry. We've got some complete the math analogy, balance bender. They do have like balance bender books. Um, so some of this is kind of like introducing some of those different books. They have mind bender books. Here's another math analogy. Balance benders. And toward the end, we got vocabulary match back here. We've got an estimation page. And then you're gonna have your answers in the back again. So that is level E, book four. Let me know if you have any questions as you watch this video that have popped up and I can help answer those questions. So like I said, these are four of the elementary age ones and I'm going to do another in the future of like middle school, high school options for mathematical reasoning because they have these throughout. Um, so you could use these as supplement or complete curriculum for, they, they have tons of like, <laughs> Of different work in here and you saw all the things that they cover so um, these are definitely great resources to have so um, like I said they're $42.99 or less you could I think they do have like a ebook that you could get as well if you wanted to like print your own might be a little tricky since this is a lot of like a lot of color <laughs> on the pages but um, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later have a great day